Alright guys, today is, mm, it's a good day, we can finally begin the creation of the titan, nice, <laughs> ah, that's not worth it, he is produced, cat, ooh, Okay, let's see what's on Coalition saying. Oh. Is that what that is? Like, no messages? None. But yeah. Also, fail. In these cities, you can actually make units. I'm also doing that, too. At least, like, was. Yeah, down here I was. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm gonna capture this now. Because this fighting insurgent. Yeah. The morale goes up really fast, too. I guess it just depends. And all that. Let's have you move up here. If there's no threats, then we'll successfully done that. But yeah. Push him in. Oh, they have met a little bit of resistance so far. But nothing they can't handle, though. Honestly. So, yeah. So far, so good. If I'm being honest. Now, ideally, what I want to do is do a circling tactic. You'd actually cut them off. So that way... They won't get access to anything here to attack our ally. Our ally will know it's safe to do it. Yeah. So now we can actually look at research, and we need to focus on it, like, right now. Because I feel like I've been slacking on it for the sake of the big bad mag. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's see. But yeah, I feel like what I should actually do is go for bombers. They may be like, hmm, interesting. Already got that, apparently. Damn. I didn't know I had bomber research done, but yeah, because it says that the mech can carry two uh, air units on it, apparently. Right? So I'm thinking, if I can put some bombers on a bad boy, we got something too. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. It's kind of a no-brainer. If I can put some bombers on a bad boy, that could be pretty deadly. See, so yeah, I'm going to start getting some bombers started, too. And I can also now do what I've been wanting to do for a while, and that's actually focus on the industry aspect of the game. Because guess what? Industry is actually very important. But I've not been doing it because I've been focusing on the Titan. And I like to bring unneeded resources away, which is stupid because it's actually kind of necessary. Yay. But now we're here. So, where's the next battle going to take place? Don't know. Oh yeah, we're also at more commandos being built here, which may actually have gotten done. I mean here, I mean down in um San Diego. No, LA? LA. So yeah, I want to go for commando research and infantry research. I don't think I could go for the Flying Fortress and have enough time to do it. Maybe in another playthrough of this game. So, yeah, you know. Um, huh. Just go to the stock market. Go here. Well, that. It's also my oil because I, I'm like an oil exporter at this rate. Because I make enough to be good. Honestly. So, let's cut that down to that. And I can buy a lot of research here with no issues whatsoever. To my economy. Bam. Still not enough to do commandos, but... Okay, nothing there. No naval. I can make some work from artillery, though, here, if I just use my brain. I believe. Because artillery is important, believe it or not. But, at the end of the day... You know, infantry. That's really... 
you know, who I should really be working on is normal infantry, because commandos I can't rely on, you know. So how many upgrades these guys even get? They get quite a bit. So yeah. We're going for the Titan, the oh-so-lovely, glorious Titan. It'll be a spectacle to all. But yeah, I was going to take Austin, which is good for him, really. First, I'm going to probably move my people up here, you know, to potentially start an evasion of this enemy. Let's build an airstrip here, you know. Because these guys have yet to see combat, believe it or not. That's kind of the insane thing here. Actually, not right here. I want to push into the right, into um, this area. Actually, I can do it, like, right now. No issues whatsoever, if I'm being honest. So you guys just need to push up to attack Kansas. Oh, it might trigger war, you think? Crackheads. But yeah. You guys, I want you to march into here, though. Fully confident in your abilities, all of that. So, yeah. I'm gonna like try to redirect all the all these people up here to actually support this war now. And let's go up here towards Kansas. Actually, if it's these people, I should probably have them focus on actually capturing the land. So what I'm actually gonna do is have them like cut up here. Again, as you can see, it's going to be another cutoff maneuver. So yeah, encirclement's going to kind of be my game in this one. Yeah, I know, using such an outdated tactic. Insane. But it'd be like that, though. Well, encirclement's not outdated. Like, modern times, it can be useful. It's always useful to do it, but yeah. Is there any patrols in this game, by the way? There is. So they can only patrol up until the end of the white line, essentially. But if the base is not within the cone, then you're out of luck, honestly. Yeah. So unlike... No, it's like conflict with that, but yeah, you can't patrol that far with these guys, it seems. But curiosity, how far away can these guys go? Does it say the range? Uh, 300. Now imagine for a bomber, it would at least be 450, I feel, for whatever reason. 450, just as I thought. So yeah, I wonder, would a max level one have like 800 or so, then? 750. Harpies. Did I say jet engine? Seven fifty, seven fifty. Jesus, this one's like a long range bomber. Then I might save up for the Davy Crockett though, honestly, because it does seem like something I would want. But I feel like I need like a level five airbase to do it. Is this a high effect against ground troops? I mean. Good air defense. But yeah, let's check out what do we what do we need for the Davy Crockett? So let's look to San Francisco for this, because that's where I'm gonna make a bomber, so it's like why not? Level three air base level one secret lab. Wow that it's really the research I would take more time though at that point. But yeah. Yeah, that's it for this one, y'all. Tomorrow, catch ya. Peace.